doesn't love a good burn down in pro mod? That happened at Indy 3, the Indy Nats, between Chris Thorne and Stevie Fast Jackson. Turbo versus Supercharged. Pro mods on the line. Who's going to go in first? I caught up on the phone with Chris Thorne. You're going to hear that audio in this video. If you want to read Stevie Fast Jackson's side of it, in the description of this video, there's a link to a Competition Plus article where he shares his side. And if you want to see this burn down without any audio over it, check out my Dodge NHRA Indy Nationals presented by Pennzoil in review on Monday Morning Racer. That's linked in the description below or at the end of this video. Next, Chris Thorne, Stevie Fast Jackson, burn down right here on Monday Morning Racer. Next. Monday morning racer got Chris Thorne on the phone in the pro modified ranks. Chris, you had an interesting Indy 3, Indy Nationals, and the highlight of the interesting weekend would be a burn down with Stevie Fast Jackson. So look, talk to me. From uh, your mindset as a driver, you know, do you go in with your mind made up before you ever put it in the beans, or is it a moment-by-moment -moment thing in staging? Um, it's kind of more of a moment-by-moment -moment thing. Um, just kind of, you know, figure out how we feel and how we feel our component's going to stage and go from there. Well, obviously with Stevie, there is a well-known disdain for turbo guys, and you were out there in a turbo, uh, one of the few turbos in the class uh, being represented uh, there that weekend. So, you know, going up against Stevie, knowing that, and the way in which turbo cars tend to go in last, were you prepared for something like that went down a near minute 40 burn down? Yeah, we were prepared. We were extra gassed up. Everything was extra cool. We were, pre we were very prepared. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> prepared to go up against Stevie there in round two. Well, look, man, talk to me. What's it like being a turbo driver? Because it's interesting as uh, in a guy filming and as a fan of drag racing, you know, you see the supercharged guys, you see the nitrous guys, they leave and they're, they're ahead of you as a turbo guy and then the turbo starts coming in and pulling and you got to win that round. What's it like as a driver being in the driver's seat like, oh boy, am I going to catch him or not? Yep, it's, it's very um, deceiving in the NHRA world. They got the boost cut back so bad on the turbo cars. Um, if you don't have somebody reeled in by seven, eight hundred foot, it's just there's just not enough boost there to get you know to get your get around them on the other end. Um, so you best have a good light and hopefully no tire shake and everything goes smooth. So I've got to ask, with a burn down like you and Stevie went through, uh, have have y'all you know talked since then about what happened or what might happen in the future? Will there be Christmas cards exchanged? Yeah, yeah, everybody was cool on the other end. Um, Stevie was very good about it. He said he, he hopes to do it again. He had a good time. and um, So it was all, all smooth and all good on the other end. Awesome. Well, that's good to hear that the competitive juices were flowing, but definitely can be cordial at the end of the deal. Well, look, man, what's the next event that you and your team plan to be at? It'll be Indy again and like... 
three or four weeks. So it's like number four for Andy. All right. Well, folks, look, Chris Thorne plans to be there for the uh, U.S. Nationals and participate again in Pro Modified. And uh, hopefully we've got some theatrics once again there in Pro Modified. Chris, look, man, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're leading the points right now. I hope I hope we're still leading when we leave there for the fourth time.